Good. Suddenly, Pooh swooped in. Pooh uses a new power, Star Storm. Pooh! <laughs> Any uh, fans of Super Smash Brothers is gonna recognize that move, even though Ness never learns it. It's only a move that po Pooh uses. But Pooh is back. Okay, Scott. All right. Good job. Finally made it, and welcome back. We're at the top of the Dungeon Man that Brick Road made here. Second time we made it all the way to the top of it here at Earthbound. There's an old submarine at the back of the dungeon. It can be used to cross the river. There's a goodbye exit over there. It will take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You need to do the goodbye exit. All right. Thanks, Brick Road. Welcome back again, everybody. So we are Earthbound. We've gone through Scarabo, we've gone through the Great Pyramid, we've gone through the Dungeon Man once, and now we're gonna go in the goodbye exit. With great courage, we jump through the hole! Alright, so we need to get a submarine to take it across the water in order to get to the deep darkness. We don't have Poo with us anymore, which is unfortunate, because he's awesome. We'll get him back again later. Talisman Ribbon, I believe I do want that. Where can she use that? Here? No? Here? No? the fuck's the talisman ribbon then? Didn't it say she got it? What is this? Help me! Miscellaneous equipment that can be used only by Paula. When equipped, luck is increased. Well, was I looking at the wrong person then? Where is it? Platinum diamond? Paula, there it is! Why wasn't I able to do it before? That was silly. Alright, good. Now we've got that all as well. Let's push forward! Mushrooms! And look, we're in the area that was previously inaccessible. We have made it. Hey, look, a cell phone. I set up a telephone line, you know, in case we wanted to save. That sort of thing. We got a taxi and a rejuvenation station. Yeah. Why not? Let's take it. Ah, just like in Chrono Trigger. You still feel hungry. Broken down old submarine. The yellow color is purely coincidental. Rick Road. Definitely not a yet another Beatles reference. Yes, it can still work. Fix it up, Jeff. Let's take the submarine. Ness and his friends carried the submarine that Jeff then fixed. Something like that. Woo! I don't get to control the submarine at all, but we get some sweet traveling music again. This is the same as the Skyrunner music, except this time, hopefully, it doesn't crash in, into a billion. Billion flames like the Skyrunner always did. So we can go past the Great Scaraba Desert, we've passed by that part of it finally, and we can push on forward. Now to the deep darkness. That's the next next part that we have to deal with. Are we there? Ooh, we're almost there. Keep going, submarine! So this is the part that I think it's designated to where you're supposed to kind of be stuck here. Um, but you're able to teleport out if you do it. If you do things correctly, we can do it. But that's alright. Hi, telephone. Hi, bird telephone. Hi, monkey. The monkeys run the inn in the forest. You can stay here for free. I just stayed. I'm good. I swear, it doesn't smell like monkey. Well, that's good to know. Because monkeys smell gross. So this part's a little, sl little annoying, too, because you move so slow. And you take damage when you're under the under the deep water like that. Do we actually... No, we don't get poisoned or anything. Whew! Alright, get out of there. Hi, guy. I want to talk to this dude. Shh, don't talk so loud. What do you want? He's got a combat yo-yo, which we don't def definitely don't want, but multi-bottle rockets. Easily the best thing that Jeff can get in the entire game. Super strong, super awesome, we want it. We'll come back later. I heard monkeys live in some desert, can teleport. Oh, you learn how to teleport from the monkeys? Um, I want to try. Did you tell me how to do it? Sure! Okay, I'll try. We just tell you how to do it? Go, monkey! Oh, you ran into shit! I'll never give up! I want to try again! So you have to be able to bend your teleportation around. I wouldn't take the path that this monkey takes, because that's hard as shit to be able to do. But, you know, it's possible. We would run more to the left if we decided that we wanted to teleport out of here. Which we shunt. I did it! Did you see me? That's awesome! Here's a small gift for you. Are you sure you can't accept this? I know you don't have room to carry it, but I wanted to give you this monkey's love. Mm. Good old monkey loving. Um, can we get rid of something? Yeah, someone eat that. Paula, eat the soup. Thank you. All right, small gift. Take the monkey's love. Perfect. 
Let's uh, let's kill this thing real quick. Snapped him away. I just thanos him away. And we got a butterfly, I got all sorts of good shit. Hi, how are you? I'm not a bad guy, I came from one of the world's largest economic powers to this small rural village. A businessman like me truly is truly tough to have traveled this far for the best opportunities. And I'm a tough businessman, yes sir! I'm also a representative of the doctor over there. A. Do you want to buy? B. Do you want to heal? Neither of those. <laughs> okay, talk to the doctor, got it, violates laws, got it. Um, oh, there's the doctor right there, so in case we die... That's good to know. Let's talk to all these monkeys. This is the deep darkness. When you walk through the swamp, you endanger your health. You can't help it. That's why it's called deep darkness. Ugh. It's not good. I want to be a pig. Pig, Piggy can get magic truffles. So, there is that. That's the reason why I have this little item. Piggy nose. Ah, put on the piggy nose. Search for smell of magic truffles. There doesn't seem to be any around here. This is the only part of the game where you can get these magic truffles, and you can only find them by sniffing them out with your piggy nose. There, I don't remember where they all are. Um, I do want to kind of get rid of some of this shit. Um, because I want to be able to open up presents. Don't really want that banana. Um, is there, is there any magic truffles over here? Piggy nose. We'll eventually come back and try to find some of these, but it doesn't seem to be around here. So it's the only way to find these magic truffles is by equipping that piggy nose. But, ooh, deep darkness. Um, where do I go? Shh, be quiet. I look very important, but I'm not really. I'm just a cash dispenser man. You can withdraw money, but I'll charge you a handling fee, which is the same amount as you withdraw. Oh, no, I would rather just transport and get the fuck out of here if that's the case. But, one thing that we needed... To open this up is use the Hawkeye. Ness, use the Hawkeye. And enlighten the entire place! Ah, very nice. Oh, you can already see an enemy down there. I don't know if I would have seen him otherwise. One last chance for Piggy Nose. There's gotta be something here. Smell of magic truffles. Nothing. We'll find one eventually, don't you worry. Can I sneak by you? No. Oh god, it's too late. We're already fighting him. What is this thing? What are what terrible enemies are I going to be fighting here? A zap eel. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it, zap eel. Oh, that's right, we have that plush bear. Forgot all about that plush bear. Oh, come on, Ness! Come on, you're the only one who can actually hit this thing at all. No. Yay, Franklin Badge! There you go, suck it, eel. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we really need is, is some more of the... More of the Franklin Badge stuff to be working for itself. Um, alright. I don't remember exactly how to get through here, but I know I definitely don't want to fight that guy. That looks like Master Master Belch. It's not, but it looks like him. Life up to on Jeff. And you're fine, Ness. Don't worry about that. You're good. All is well. Oh, god damn it. I can't fucking avoid these things. I'm terrible at this. Two electric eels. Oh, well, fuck you guys then, huh? Big time fire. And just shoot him. I want to kill these things as quickly as possible. We got plenty of the, um... Come on. Come on! No! Plush bear! No! Um, I got plenty of the PSI caramels if I decided that I wanted them. Oh my god, Jeff's gonna die now. Come on. Come on. Or kill these things before they have a chance. Good. Good! Alright, we killed him. Woo! Yep, again, thank god for the rolling HP counter. Man, we really need to level up some. <laughs> um, we're good for now, though. Don't worry. All's well. We'll just keep dying, and I'll keep saying that all is well. Even though I know for a fact that not all is well. All right, push forward. We got a crocodile. Another little eel. God damn it. All right, more back to scrolling. Back to scrolling these enemies away. That is the key. No enemies? No enemies? No enemies. There we go. I swear to God, the Piggy Nose is eventually going to do something. Let's try it out again. Piggy Nose! <gasps> Not around here either. God, shit. They're in these little corners somewhere. Again, Google would be a great source <laughs> to be able to be like, Yup, this, this is where you search for them. Piggy Nose! Not around here either. Son of a bitch. We will eventually find them. It's going to happen. A beef jerky, I'll take it. I'll probably end up eating that at some point. There's probably even a truffle up there, but whatever. Do I go down this way? Is this the actual way to go? I think that I loop around. Hey, look! A helicopter! Why, that helicopter looked awfully familiar. A yellow helicopter. It doesn't have a, any assholes hanging out of it like we saw it last time, but 
That's clearly the helicopter from Anatoly Tower, right? I don't think there's any doubt about that. Does it even say as much? It's completely broken. I thought I could fix it, but on re-examination, I noticed there's no engine. Hmm. Yep, that's a problem. Uh, so that's definitely the one that Pokey was in. So there's that. Can I avoid the bugs? We can. Nice. Cup of Life Noodles, we want that. You take that, Jeff. Get out of here, stupid bugs. Alright, okay, let's see if we can avoid the crocodiles. Good. Keep avoiding enemies, that's the key. Again, there's magic truffles around here, and I should be using that piggy nose more. But just keep going! The piggy nose will be useless. Well, we can always come back and find them later if I'm really that interested in getting the magic truffles. Magic truffles, I'm pretty sure, give you magic back. So they'd be in place of the PSI caramels. What's in here? Souvenir coin. Uh, yeah, we want that one. Um, someone eat the beef jerky. Bob. See, he needed some health. Souvenir coin. Let's equip you with that instead of the lucky one. Perfect. Everyone else has lucky coins. Alright, we're good. That's what we wanted. Um, I think we're getting close to where we need to be. Oh no, we have to loop around one more time. Oh god, look at all these enemies. Let's loop around this way. I think that all leads to the same path if I head up this way. No bugs! Son of a bitch. Ants? Are they ants? Oh no, they're slugs. Pitbull slugs? Is that what that just said? Yep, fire on everybody. And just, you attack. Use salt! Yep, pit bull slugs. Oh, you're already dead. Kill him first, Jeff! Yeah, don't use Ness's magic. That that worked out well. Alright, those guys weren't too bad. Damn, 10,000 experience. They would be good to level up on. That much is for sure. Alright, can I, do I go this way? I think I go this way. Yep, see, up to the left up there is the other direction we could have come from. Let's go up here. God, fuck. Alright, well. If there's only one of them, nope, two of them. <sighs> it's okay. We can kill them with fire. And you. Death. Kill them pit bull slugs. How do you mix a pit bull and a slug? Craziness. Absolutely crazy and wackiness. Good. Nice levels up. These slugs are awesome for leveling up on. Can we please get out of this goddamn swamp? Oh, this isn't even the right way to go! Rock candy. Alright, I do want that rock candy. Um, Secret herb, I guess. Why don't we use that? No visible effect. Am I out of it? Okay, good. I don't even... I, oh, shit, does secret herb bring you back to life? Because if so, I should have used it. And uh, I should have saved that. Rock candy on Ness. My Q went up by one. Shit, should have given it to Jeff then. Ness doesn't really need IQ, he just needs to mindlessly bash assholes. That's all he needs to do. Alright, long pathway underneath the, the swampy swamp here. Uh-oh, this guy looks unavoidable. And he looks awfully familiar. We don't have any fly honey this time. How's everyone doing health-wise? Good enough, let's do it! You may have forgotten me. I'm the return of Map of Belch. I've fought you before. You don't you remember my ripe odor? Belch has trained more and has returned much stronger. Oh, Birch has also changed his name to Puke. Oh, he's disgusting. Drown in death of Puke. Don't you think it's an in incredibly masculine taunt to throw at you? He is a disgusting monster. All right, let's do this. Um, yep, let's do that. Do some freezing action. What do we got, Jeff? Let's throw that mummy wrap at him. Freezing and money mummy wraps. All right, didn't work on him. Fuck that. Oh, that this isn't good. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna want to heal ourselves, I think. That's still pretty good damage, though. All right, uh, healing two for poison. Just keep doing what you're doing, babe. <laughs> Paula, you just keep doing it. Um, we've got we don't have any multi bottle rockets, but we do have the big bottle rockets. Why don't we use those? Good. Boom! Alright, multi bile rock hits him by like a thousand, so could have been better, but. Fuck, come on, 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 heal! Fuck me, I'm. Oh, heal! Heal! Yay! Don't kill me again! <gasps> good dodge! Good dodge! Alright, okay, good. Let's uh, life up on Jeff. Nope, Freezy. Jesus, guy, this guy's kicking my ass. More big bottle rockets. Man, I should have bought multi bottle rockets. Just don't attack Paula, please. Attack Jeff if you're gonna do anything. Good. 
Suddenly, Pooh swooped in. Pooh uses a new power, Star Storm. Pooh! <laughs> Any uh, fans of Super Smash Brothers is gonna recognize that move, even though Ness never learns it. It's only a move that po Pooh uses. But Pooh is back. Awesome, Casey Bat. Ness, take that bat. Side note: Don't use the Casey Bat. It is a it's a rookie move, rookie mistake to use that bat. If I if I look at it, it tells me. Its damage is super strong, but you miss goddamn everybody with it. Um, it's it's supposed to be a callback to the, the short story KC at the bat, so you miss a ton. It's a good weapon if you can hit, but you never hit, so never use it. It's all a trick. Um, I think I go back, double back to the left. But we beat him, and look who we've got! Pooh is back! My friend Pooh, he's back! That is what I'm talking about. At least he wasn't gone for long. I was, again, when I was little, I was so upset when Pooh left the group. And I was, again, super psyched when he came back. We got Pooh back. Is there anything down here? Nope. All right. Well, we didn't get anything with the piggy nose, but we'll find it later. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry none. <gasps> Ooh, we're at a new village. Mm, we're shy. Mm, we're shy. <laughs> oh, no, not that voice again. What's in here? Let's see here. Death Ray! Hell yeah! Jeff, I think you can just directly equip that, right? Woohoohoohoo! That is a big boost! No problem here. Alright, so we got Shy Tenda, Tenda Village. Can I talk to the chief? We're all shy. Real where I heard a book to fix shyness there is. Where? Oh, don't know. Just a rumor. Hmm. Okay, so we got Shy Assholes. Yep, you're shy. I heard that you're shy. Hotel here. Can I use the hotel? In the hall. And we have free stay? Okay, stay. At least it's free. Jeff, you can't repair anything yet? That's okay. That's okay. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Alright, so we got a town full of shy tender villagemen. Mm, who are shy? <laughs> yep, you sure are. Alright, coffee thing. Is this a store? Item shop? But I don't think we can buy anything from him yet, because he's too shy. Yep. So we need to be able to overcome their shyness. Um, yep, all shy. Shy, that we are. So they said there's a book somewhere. Now, where have we seen a library before? Where would a book be? I mean, a book would be in a library. So we need to think of where we've seen a library. I don't think there's one in Foreside. Three, I don't think we ever did. But hey. Hello, it's been a while we talked. This is Apple Kid. We've been having a beautiful weather here. I'm now at Dr. Andonut's lab in Winters. The doctor doesn't seem to be a around right now, but I'm just working on my eraser eraser machine. That noise doesn't sound good. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey! Oh no! What are you doing to me? Uh, who are you? Well, that doesn't sound good. Ness, I haven't talked with you in ages. This is Orange Kid. You know, the guy you didn't give money to? We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. See, he's a stupid idiot. By the way, Apple Kid is missing. He left here saying that he was going to see Dr. Andernuts in Winters, and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the overcoming shyness from him, but suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read that book, so not very good at talking. Sorry. I'm also working hard on my invention, so I hope you understand. Say hello to your friends for me. So there is a book called The Overcoming Shyness. Interesting. Again, where would we see something like that? Let's teleport! Mm, so he's in Tucson. There's not a library there. But Onet has one. That's where we got the map. At the very, very beginning of the game. The map that I'm no longer carrying with me because it takes up space. Let's go back to Onet and see if there's, uh, you know, anything at the library here. Let's check it out. Well, let's check it out. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Where is the... It's up here. Hey, look! A library! Let's check to see if there's any books in here that we could check out. Hi! It's not necessary to turn the map now. Yeah, okay, great. Come back in the year 2001? Is that what that said? Well, that's out of date. Let's start checking the shelves. No problem here. No problem here. No problem here. All right. Cramming for a big test. You do not look like you're in school, does it? Oh, you teach me all the stuff about the game. Great! I already know all that shit! Get away from me! Do I have to go talk to, App to Orange Kid first, or...? Giant Step. Yep, I know. We've already... Already been there, cowboy man! Get out of my face! Alright, how about, uh... How about you, young little lady? <gasps> okay. 
Shh. You're bothering people. Okay. Uh, shh. You're bothering people. Yes. Yes, indeed I am. Can I... Can I check the book... Bookshelf? Kid! Kid in a shirt! Get out of my way! Goddamn way! Move to your right. Get out of my way. Okay. No problem here. Yes, I am bothering people. Yeah, UFO sightings. Okay, great. I want a book. I'm pretty sure it's here. Our convenient society. Yup, got it. Let's go check upstairs. Get out! Stop talking to me! <laughs> I could care less what you have to say. Alright, we need to find this goddamn book and I'm pretty sure it's here. How about up here? In this, in this room? You don't even have bookshelves! Son of a bitch! Alright, I might have to, I might have to go talk to Orange Kid. Yep, bad. Oh my god, I don't care! I know, I've already learned all this. You're not telling me anything I don't know about the butterflies. I've eaten thousands of them. Um, okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm in here, don't come in, especially if you should need to use the bathroom. Alright, I think we have to go talk to, to Orange Kid. Let me figure this out, real quick. Hold that thought, be right back! You didn't invest any money in my venture, but someone else donated a few million bucks, so everything is great. So would you like to invest, say, 50 bucks? What? I don't have that much money! Oh, fuck you, I knew I hated you! Alright, I'm an idiot, I figured it all out. <laughs> supposed to be here first. Oh, chewing gum monkey's wife. My husband left me and go to play with Tessie along the shores like Tess. All right. So anyway, yeah, Jeff, no long time no see. You've gotten taller. This is Tony's missing. No, Maxwell. How, why did you tell me Tony's missing? Anyway, so what it, what I was supposed to do, <laughs> I, I was trying to go to Onet to get the book of overcoming shyness too quickly. Clearly, I didn't take the hint from the fact that I was getting a phone call from Orange Kid saying, I lent it to Apple Kid to indicate that I should go look for Apple Kid. <laughs> because I'm an idiot, not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. So Apple Kid is here with, in Winters with Dr. Andonuts. And me teleporting does not take me straight to Dr. Andonuts' lab. I need to fucking go this way and apparently fight a whole bunch of people. God damn it. That's all right. So we just need to fight our way all the way back to where we were before. Yup, it's a little annoying, but we can make it happen. We'll be all right. All is fine and well. Ooh, that didn't do much at all. There you go. Come on, PSI Death, kill these guys. Ooh, kill the Whirling Robo and the Lesser Mook. Don't freeze me, you asshole. Ooh, 180. Shit. Alright, everyone bash the shit out of him. There you go. Dead? Dead? Dead. There we go. High fives, everybody. Good job. So, yeah, so I we eventually need to go get the Book of Overcoming Sadness, of Overcoming Shyness. But first, we need to come here. We need to go check to see what the fuck's happening to to Apple Kid and uh, get the old finger where that book is. So this is the first place that we need to go. Yeah, no, let me. I want to stay. Yep, rest up. Thank you. Have some tea. Ah, tea. Thank you. So we're gonna travel. We're gonna follow the same pathway that Jeff had to take when we first first found him. Work our way back to Andonut's lab and figure out where the fuck to go from there. So, um. So at least now we know we're going the right way. <laughs> so that's a plus. So you know, there's there's a there's a positive to look at. Glass half full. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of these diamond enemies around here. And they are getting harder and more difficult to defeat, so I'd rather not face them if we can avoid it. If it if it's entirely possible, I'd rather avoid the avoid these battles. Yep, nice cut through. There we go. But does that mean we get to meet our big our big uh, dinosaur friend again. <gasps> Bubble Monkey, you're here! Kee -kee -kee. Yep, I have some chewing gum! <gasps> it's getting windy again! That must mean he's here! <gasps> go, Bubble Monkey, go! <gasps> there he is, our purple friend's back! <laughs> Yay! Yay, Bubble Monkey and Tessie! Ah, oh, this uh, We get to take two rides on Tessie during this game, during this playthrough. And this is the second wonderful one. We better we better appreciate it now while we have the chance and the opportunity. This time, Ness gets to sit on him. Everyone aboard! Thank you, Tessie! I, I won't need to use you again, so... Unfortunately, we won't be able to see each other again. Just... Let's just enjoy this. I'm just gonna hug his long neck. Ugh! What a good Tessie. What a lazy drawing for a face on him, though. <laughs> just two dots for eyes! Hey, my name's Tessie. <laughs> oh, 
I like giving people rides on my back, but only if there's a monkey chewing bubble gum. <laughs> oh, he's so doofy and derpy. I think it's the derpy face that makes him so lovable, though. Honestly, that's that's my theory. Just that lovable derpy face. Ooh, this one good squeezes. <laughs> awesome. Yay! Thank you, Tessie. What a great ride. What. A great help you were. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Salute to you, Tessie. Bye, my friend! Bye! <laughs> Alright, push back forward again. So, if we would have pre-planned and pre-thought, I would have called... called uh, the delivery service to deliver my pencil eraser back again. So I would be able to have it for this part. So I could just kind of cut through, because if anybody remembers, there was a pencil that needed erasing. A pencil statue here last time we were here. And we had to go around, because we didn't have a pencil eraser. And now we could have had one, but I just didn't pre-plan well enough to actually get it. So that means we have to go back through that little mini labyrinth thing. Why are there so many enemies here? Scroll them away, please. Come on! Any fucking time here. Alright, seriously. Diamond enemies... You're getting a little... I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to do it. We're not doing this. If there's just one of you. No, there's goddamn three of you every single fucking time. And we can't seem to sneak by... Sneak through those goddamn trees. This is going to take too long. <laughs> Come on. No, there's still three of you. Why are there three every single goddamn time? 2,000 years late. Thank God. That took way too long. Look, the pencil I was talking about. But nope, instead we have to go through Brick Road. His first creation. It's not quite as extravagant as Dungeon Man, but uh, that's alright. I don't think there's going to be any enemies this time. Can we just walk through appropriately and not get stuck? I'm assu Again, I'm assuming there's no enemies, right? Looks like there's none. We just have to go through the tedious little walking path, that's all. We've got this. Yay! Jeff, you remember this? You remember doing this the first time? Yep, this was probably a little annoying then, too. But we made it. That was a pretty easy one. So, I, who needs the forethought to remember to to get rid of that pencil eraser? Or need to get the pencil eraser to get rid of the pencil statue? You know what the fuck I'm talking about! Alright, let's keep pushing forward. We're almost to Dr. Andon's lab. We just have to make it through this cave. Are these guys going to run from us? Yeah, you better run, bats. Just let me kill you. Come on now. Oh, there's a spider there, too. Alright, well, why don't we just run? It's green. We can run. And did. Thank you, green encounters. Get away from me, you goddamn bats. <sighs> Ooh! Even in the two-person battle, we're still able to kill them. It's because there's goddamn four of us. Yeah, level up, poo! There we go. Alright, now maybe everyone will run away from us. Don't go up by that door, bat! You get out of here! Alright. Push forward. Climb up that rope. Get away from me, alligator guy. Damn, there's a lot of enemies here. We could just get free experience, but nah. Again, we'll just push forward. I basically just want to make it to Dr. Andonut's lab first. And then we can uh, then we can end this part there. Can I sneak by this? No, oh, we're going to fight him. <laughs> nope. All right, they're going to actually make us fight him. No, we're not fighting the crocodile. Run, please. And did. Good job. Good job, crew. Good job, team. All right, we were already here, defeated the boss here, so we don't have to worry about that. And we made it to Stonehenge, which I believe we, we're going to have to dive into here in the next little bit. All right, they're running from us, too. Look at all these enemies. Jesus Christ, the lag. Out of control. All right, we made it to the lab. Dr. Endonut's lab. Yes, indeed. All right, Apple Kid, you here? I've been waiting for you. My master, Apple Kid, completed his eraser eraser machine. While he's been calling you, he was kidnapped. He felt like this. Ugh! I was there. It was help us. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. We have an eraser eraser! Which, if anybody remembers, we needed that to get into Stonehenge. So we can finally enter Stonehenge! Isn't that, isn't that a nice feeling? Good night's rest. Let's revitalize ourselves. We're going to take a break this time. We're going to dive into Stonehenge, which we might be there for a little while for reasons untold in the next part. So I will see you guys then! Bye bye